fun was it to get in the end zone a couple times last game and, uh, and I guess just trying to build on that momentum? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can score a touchdown or do anything positive to the team, uh, it's a good feeling. So uh, I was excited about it. Um, hopefully it builds some momentum going forward. But uh, yeah, definitely anytime you can do something positive to help the team win, it's a, it's a really good feeling. Have you ever had a stat line like that before? <laughs> two touchdowns? On uh, not that I can remember. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a pretty crazy stat line. Three catches, one yard, and two touchdowns. Uh, I don't think that will be repeated by any receiver. So. <laughs> Hopefully my name will be uh, Stetch and Stone. Did anyone what did people say to you about it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not really, other than just, I mean, it's just such a weird stat line. Nobody's really ever heard of it. So, I mean, I thought it was funny. Um, I had a little post on Instagram about it, just saying I had one yard. So, and it was pretty funny. Did you yourself realize that's what it would be, or not until you checked the box score? Uh, I had no clue. Uh, I knew I, I, th I thought I got back to the line of scrimmage on the first catch I had, but I guess I lost a couple yards, and then the other two were just, one yard touchdown, so just got those yards back, I guess. Um, you walk us through that first touchdown. It looked like it was kind of a little freelance on your part. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I was just running a little out route, and Jalen scrambled, so I just kind of adjusted to him, and he threw me a ball, and I made a play on that. Obviously, you had some success with those goal line situations, though. Do you like those? Is that, that a part of your game you like? Uh, yeah, I mean, anytime the coaches put me in a position to make a play, um, I feel comfortable in it, so um, that's what they did, and um, I felt comfortable in that position, and Thankfully, we are successful on it. How did the season gone for you personally? I mean, you, know, you came in with some high hopes. And mm -hmm. Just how has the season gone for you? I mean, it's we're 11 and 0, so um, or 10 and 0, or whatever we are, but undefeated. So I couldn't be happier as a as a, a player on this team to be a part of something like this, be on the number one team in the country. Um, even though I'm not putting up the stats, it doesn't really matter to me. Whatever the coaches ask me to do to help the team win is is what I'm happy to be doing. Uh, I mean, I've heard a whole bunch from it. Um, obviously, watching from afar the past couple of years, um, basically, I mean, I feel like anybody knows about this rivalry growing up. So, I mean, I've probably watched the past three or four of them on TV. And, um, I mean, I can remember, uh, I mean, I can really just remember basically all the past couple of games that they've played and um, how crazy they've been. So, I'm looking forward to being part of it. How much have you embraced kind of that blocking role that you've kind of taken on this, this year? Yeah, I mean, like I said, whatever whatever the coaches ask, ask me to do, I mean, I'll be happy to do it. Whatever helps the team win. Um, I feel like I'm a team guy. I'm a selfless guy. So whatever they ask, I mean, I'm, I'm always down to do whatever they need me to do. Do you feel like the season has maybe helped your overall game uh, because you've gotten to do some of that? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Um, obviously, coming from BG, um, we did, obviously the receivers, we really didn't block too much. So uh, coming in here, kind of just adding to my game, I think it's helped me. Uh, just kind of, I mean, you can, like just watching on TV, like you can see, you can see how passionate the fans are for both, for both schools. So, um, you know, I'm just excited for it. Um, I mean, I can remember the bad game, the good game. So, um, I'm just looking forward to being part of it. Do teammates kind of share stories with Iron Bowl? Is it kind of just understood as a big one? Uh, I think it's kind of just understood as a, as a big one. Um, these guys really don't talk about the past too much. We're kind of just focused on, on the next game. So, the next game, it uh, seems like Auburn has a really good run defense. Does that maybe make you think? Mm. Yeah, I mean, whatever these coach, whatever our coaches have planned up, uh, I feel like it will be a good one. So, um, whatever they they give to us, I think we'll execute it and hopefully have success doing it. Yeah, um, I mean, I always, I feel like I've always been the guy that kind of just been the loose guy and been able to just have fun out there. And um, especially pregame, I don't want to get too tense. Like last at Bowling Green, I always had my older brother play catch with before the game, so I always did that. And Cornwall was one of the first first guys I met here, and I lived with him. So me and him have a have a good chemistry together, and we just go out there and just kind of just have fun and just kind of really don't even think about the game, just kind of just have fun and just kind of get warmed up and. Uh, we just kind of been adding to it. First, I saw Palais at the LSU game in the in the in the end zone in the crowd, so I just started throwing him the ball because Cornwell was talking to somebody else or something, and 
we see all these kids that, on the sideline and I mean I can rem remember being that kind of kid that was just always on the sideline and uh, how cool it would be for a player to throw me a ball and play catch with them so um, you know it's just a it's a great experience to be a part of and, and I'm happy to do it. Who's a better receiver? Bateman or Cuomo? I know you, they kind of go up against each other. Yeah they uh they, they've been doing one-on-one -on -one. well they had to stop because they both kind of had an injury but um, I think I think Cornwell has the upper edge on him a little bit just because the height so he's a uh, basically a big tight end out there right now. Being from, from South Bend, do you have an advantage uh, in these games when it starts getting a little colder? Uh, I mean, it's not too cold yet. I mean, it's only 50 and 60, so back home it's, I think, snow. I think Notre Dame played in the snow last game, so um, it's not too cold yet. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I, I like playing in the cold. I think it's, I think it's easier to play, um, so hopefully it gets a little colder, but it's, if not, it's, it's a perfect temperature for football, so. You came out with all the sleeves and warm up. Did any of your teammates kind of? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, it was high 50s, low 60s, so it's not like it's freezing out there. Um, obviously, most of these guys are from the south, so they really don't know what cold is. Um, that's why I mess around with them about a lot. But yeah, they don't. I don't think they know what cold is yet. So hopefully, maybe when they're playing in the NFL and have to go travel around the. Uh, the northern northern states, they'll figure that out. Yeah, can you talk about you talked a little bit about it, sustaining blocks? Because you guys, to a man, wide receiver core, mm -hmm. perimeter blocking is just phenomenal. Is that something Napier preaches mm -hmm. and just the discipline to do that 20 yards downfield and away from the play? And yeah, uh, we have a quote in our room that says, How you play without the ball um, is what kind of teammate you are. And I think all of us really take pride in, in blocking. and kind of opening up the lanes for the, the running backs one, or Jalen once they break a break a run. So um, anytime we can get out there and, and make a key block, I mean, it's, it feels just as good as a touchdown for us. So uh, we're always excited for the opportunity to block. And if that's what the team needs us to do, that's what we do. Thanks, Gary. What are some of the challenges uh, that are kind of unique to prepare for Auburn's offense? Uh, you know, they, they run a very uh, unique defense, I mean, offense that uh, kind of hard for us to defend and you know every year uh, kind of provides a challenge for us but you know uh, we look forward to playing them and uh, just trying to stop it and looking forward to the challenge. What about specifically what makes it challenging? What's that? What about their offense specifically? Uh, like I said it's a, a unique offense it's something that we don't really see uh, every every game you know some offenses we see every, in, in and out every single game but this this offense is kind of uh, it's a different uh, type of offense and the formations that they run and some of the plays that they run are, are different so it kind of uh, like I said provides a, a challenge to us. I feel like not knowing which quarterback you're going to get there's three different quarterbacks with three different styles. Uh, it don't really matter to us it's just whoever's out there we just got to stop. That's about it. Sorry. The, the speed that they use is kind of similar to what you see from some other teams but just as far as Elements they have that are similar to some other teams you all played this year. Uh, yeah, about every single team has has similarities, but you know, like I said, they're they uh, they run a different different type of offense, and like you said, they do have a lot of speed. So you know, they they uh, use it a lot, and uh, you know, it's they they have a lot of speed, like I said, and uh, you know, like it's gonna be a challenge. Next three games at the position, how is how safety feeling? Um, it's good. You know, I'm making calls in the, in the backfield, seeing seeing everything, and just. Breaking on the ball, trying to make tackles and make plays uh, back there. How important is it for defense to finish strong, giving up, you know, three to sometimes zero points, uh, just to finish out the year uh, mm. that solid? Uh, you know, if we could finish out a game with uh, or this game with another uh, shutout or or three three points, uh, that would be a great game for us, and uh, you know, hopefully we could do that. But you know, we just have to execute and, and be disciplined out there. Does it is it? Extra motivation whenever their defense is good too to kind of outdo their defense. Mm, yeah, it's definitely a competition out there between the two defenses. You know, whenever we're playing against uh, another team that has a, a solid defense, we always want to uh, try and try and do better than them and prove that that we're better than them. You know that today marks one month since you guys last gave up a touchdown. Really? That's pretty cool. <laughs> what does that mean to you? I guess. Um, it just means that we're doing our job. You know, just everybody's out there. Uh, executing, being disciplined, and you know that's that's kind of uh, what we mark our defense on. So it's good that we're doing that. What, what is the thing that's con I'm sorry. What's the thing that's concerning the most? Because I mean, you guys, you weren't here, but been burned by. They love to do the run pass option where it looks like a run, and then boom. So that mm -hmm. discipline of having to 
Yeah. Make yeah. sure you defend pass first and all that good stuff. Um, uh, you know, is is what you said is discipline. It's making sure that the defensive line stops the run and making sure that the def defensive backs are doing their job, looking at their man and reading the right things, and uh, being disciplined with their eyes and making sure they're staying on their man because you don't know when the quarterback could pull the ball and throw it, and then you don't know if he could pull it and run and then just pull up last minute and throw it. So you know, we just had to be disciplined, like you said, and, and stay on our man. Um, you know, they, they can't throw the ball. It's not that they, they don't, that they can't, but, uh, you know, they can't throw the ball downfield and they have pretty good receivers out, out wide and in the slot they can't get the ball downfield, but they have a, a great backfield uh, set, so, you know, they do uh, prefer to run the ball a little bit more, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, we're still going to have to focus on, on the pass and the run at the same time. Zachary, you say that they don't throw the ball much, but when they do, they have to throw along? Yeah, that, that is true. Yes, sir. Um, he's a big back, you know. He uh, you can't let him, you can't let him get uh, go north, go north, go north and south. You gotta kind of make him go east and west. And uh, when you do that, you can you can stop him. Does he kind of compare to Bo in terms of his size? Um, he's probably a little bit thicker than Bo, but uh, Bo's probably faster than him. Do you have to be more fundamentally sound tackling a guy who's got forty pounds when he's supposed to a guy who's more like your size? Yeah, yeah, you definitely do because uh, you, if you just go in there with no no technique and no power, you know. You're gonna get ran over, but uh, when you go in there and do what you're supposed to do, you're gonna come out with the tackle. Has safety been pretty much what you expected through the games that you've been in there now, or has there been anything surprising? Uh, no, I played in high school, so it wasn't like a complete. Uh, it was it was nothing I didn't know uh, about it, but um, you know, just back there, like I said, making calls, making plays when I can, and uh, just trying to help the team. Wait, what's been the biggest challenge? Wait, what's the biggest thing that's different from playing star? Um, I say that you, you see a little bit more, and uh, so it's kind of just being more disciplined with your eyes, uh, really just looking at the right things, keying the right things, and uh, you know if you, you're the last line of defense, so it's kind of like if, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, uh, bad things will happen. So you know you always have to be uh, under an egg every single snap. Is there as much action back there in safety compared to that? Um, I'll say there's a little bit more like fitting the runs and stuff, and uh, making the tackles on the runs, but. In the past, it's not as much action because you know I'm not covering the man every single snap like I would at star. I'm kind of covering the middle for another half, and sometimes I do get to cover a man, but it's not as often as I do at star. A couple more. Even though he's not playing, how much has Eddie helped you guys with your preparation? Um, you know he he's been kind of doing rehab, and you know he's trying to focus on getting healthy. So he hasn't been up here a whole lot, but you know he does come up here and and you know, try to talk to us and make sure we're uh, focusing on the right things. Um, you know, growing up in New Jersey, I didn't really know too much about it. And then uh, the weeks leading up to the up to the game, I kind of realized how big of a, of a of a match it was, and how much people paid attention to it. So you know, the game itself was a whole lot of fun to play in, and just the overall uh, atmosphere and experience was, was great. Having it over there last in your first experience, how excited are you to have it here in Alabama Friday? Um, the first Alabama game I came to was actually the Auburn game. Two two years ago, my well, my senior year, and uh, it was here. So you know, it's it's crazy. You know, I was I was part of the fan base and screaming and stuff like that, and it's a whole lot of fun. So you know, I just can't wait to actually be on the field this time and, and playing and having fun out there. What'd you think of that game? That was kind of a kind of high score moment. Good. Yeah. What'd you think of that game? Um, you know, it's it's crazy. It's the whole atmosphere, like I said, and you know, we actually didn't play our best game, but. Uh, you know, it was a whole lot of fun to be out there and, and watching, watching the two teams and the rivalry and, and uh, all the fans and stuff argue with each other. So it was pretty, it was pretty cool.